go to the move tool in Affinity Photo and go over here and select some shapes. And I'm just going to select that one. I'm just going to hold the shift down, select that one and that one. So I've clicked, selected three. You can see that there. What I can now do is group them. You can go up here to the top left and click group. Then go to export. I'm just going to click here and export persona. Now within that, you can see again, you've got the group option there. So it's group, exactly the same as before. Now I can go down here to this create slice. So click there and it will create that slice. Now when I export, it will save it only to this size of document. That's it. That's the size of document it will save it to. Won't save it for the whole size of the document. So if you want it to be the whole size of the document, simply drag that slice out and put it there. So you can then do that. So you've got it like that and then go to slices and you can set it up to be PNG, JPEG, etc. Whatever format you want. Now with that, you can then go to down here, export slices. So I click there and I'm going to say saving it to my desktop and you can see the document applied there. And it's got the full size of the document now. And it's also got only those items that I selected actually saved. Just about make it out in that very small document. Now in this, I don't want it to be grouped now. So I just want it like that. Just those ones. However, what I can still do, and go to export persona. So it's the exact same with all the triangle, all those sort of things. But this time, say I want to select a couple of these layers, just this one. So that one, create slice for that one. And you can see the slice is just created like that. What I can do, I can resize that, exactly the same as before. Now I could save it like that, but I want it to be the whole document. So all full size of the document. And again, I can go to another one, say that rectangle there. Of course, I could pick any of them. I'm just choosing that one. So create slice again. Must admit, it wasn't even certain which one I've actually selected. So just going to drag that again, resize that so it fills the entire size. And again, do exactly. There's no automatic option for that. You just have to manually do it. So if you've got hundreds of layers, it's going to take a bit longer. And again, go to slices. And you've got export slices and you see it down there it says two. So export slices, click export. And then what it does, it will save it. And you can see now you've got that document and that document. And again, only the items that you wanted to export are actually exported. None of the others ones are, only those ones. And it's fitting the entire size of the document. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.